I had to turn it up a little bit cause they start hate. Like, like, like comment, and subscribe, tell me why you wait. The real breezy TV on in that type of day. What's up guys? So today we will be sublimating on a pair of Poppy Store socks. Yes, I said it. Poppy Store socks. And these socks say that they are 100% polyester. So let's see how they turn out. So we're going to need our Teflon sheet, our aluminum foil, our image of course. And of course we're definitely going to need our socks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out, cut the whites off the edges. Okay, so of course you better clean up your mess. It's kind of better to clean your mess before you start, like while you're working, than after. But who am I to judge? Because y'all gotta see my workspace after I'm finished. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get our sock jigs and our poppy stir socks. We're gonna open up them babies, pop them off. Again, they say that they say that they are 100% polyester. And again, I got these from the Poppy store, the corner store, the Dominican store, whatever you want to call it. But real here, we call it the Poppy store. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my, open up, open up my sock. Put it, put it on a sock jig. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's all nice and right and pretty. Yeah. Make sure you got the right sock jigs too. Because you need your socks to be spread a little bit. So that when you apply your image and then you take it off the sock jig it looks perfect you don't have any like you know the, the little white lines and all that so make make sure you have a, a sock jig you can even make your own sock jig but i um i actually got these sock jigs from silky socks if i'm not mistaken or pro world but you can also buy some from off of amazon so now that we did that Make sure everything is right. Make sure. There we go. Look at him. Oh. Sublimating on socks is one of my favorite things to do. Of course, we're going. Of course, we're going to use that lint brush. Get all of that lint, little lints that you don't even see off the sock because you do not want all of them little blue specks. Yes, the specks are blue. So you must every time you're sublimating on a garment. Lint, roll it. Get all the lint off of it. Because there is some lint that you don't see. Maybe little teeny pieces of hair. Anything. But get it off. Once you finish doing that, you want to go ahead and grab your image. Oh, I get so excited when I sublimate. Grab your image. Now, this, is, this technique I just learned from somebody on TikTok. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to position our image. And we're going to do a little wrap around. Normally, I just place the picture on top of it and then heat press both sides but here we're going to do a little wrap around today hey let's go Transfer tape. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Let's see how it comes out. I'm trying a new little new method that I saw somebody do on TikTok. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. A nice little piece of tape all the way down. You probably don't need all this tape, but I love to use tape. I like to make sure it is sealed. Okay? Sealed. Like that. Okay? That's how that is. Now, what I seen him do was, and which I've never seen nobody do before, 
But he does socks all day. That's his thing. Ow. And it's six, he took some aluminum foil. He had aluminum foil sheets. I'm just going to take um, I'm going to make this work the best way I can. Okay. So, I'm going to take my nice little amount of it. Wrap it around it. You did wrap it around it. So I probably had too much. Um, I probably don't have enough. Okay. okay, so this is. I'm just gonna go ahead and just hook this up. That's the way I can, but I want to try it. Maybe put some tape. Tape it. Yeah. Okay, so it, was, it was something like this. <laughs> Don't judge me. I wanted to try out how he did it, but again, he had sheets, so. And we gonna do it like this. And then we look like this when he finished. Um, I'm just going to take this down here and just wrap it around. Just the front of the sock because there's nothing here. I'm going to take this and just wrap it around here. You know, you gotta be careful when I'm doing this for you. Because the shit is just ripping on you. Well, I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. <laughs> but uh, I see some smoke coming out, but I think that's probably because of the aluminum foil. Turn you that way. And turn it around here. Take this off. Put a little scorch marks on the. Turn these bad boys around. Turn these bad boys around. Turn them around. Turn them around. Like that. Press it again. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but the counter moves to one. You guys can see it. The counter moved to one. And I think that was telling me that was my first press because it moved to one right after, as soon as it was done. So let's see if it moves to two. We got about seven more seconds left. Let's see if it moves to two to tell me that that was my second press. It did. Okay, so they are done and they are not hot anymore. So let's reveal them. See how they came out. Ooh, wait a minute. You can see that perfectly through the paper. Oh my goodness. Can we find out I'm about to be using aluminum foil and I think it kind of messed up a little crunchy around. Crunchy everywhere. I hope it didn't mess up. See how it turned out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. 
No, why did that do that to the top? At the top. What is it? I'm gonna have to wash them, wash them and get that off. But why did it? What the hell is going on here? A lot of hard. Okay, well, let's see the rest of this. This is crazy vibrant. Why is it like that? At the top. Hmm. I don't know, I think it may have something to do with the uh, aluminum foil. That doesn't stuck to the wall. Stuck to the joint like a motherfucker. God damn. I think I might have something to do with the aluminum foil. Oh, well, this jig is messed up. Damn. Oh, look, I did mess it up a little bit. So. But this is in the foot of the heel, so. And I'm wearing these, so everybody gonna be able to see that. Look at this. Shit like paper. I might have to wash them. But there's no lines. And one full did good. It ain't no yellow, no white lines. And one full did real good. I don't know what's up with this. But I think when I wash it, it'll, it'll go back. So I'm going to wash them tomorrow after 24 hours. But this is how it came out. Yes. He put it on a bottle, so let me put it on a put it on a mug, a tumbler, and see how it looks. I can't even. Right. Well, I guess they, cause they dollar store socks, so. <laughs> I mean, not dollar store socks, but what you call the socks? Maybe no more of them socks, huh? But this is how it's how it'll look. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I think it's because it's the. The dollar store socks. I don't know. Because I never had this happen with socks from like silky socks or sublimation socks or nothing like that. So, um, But this is what it looks like. And there's no, you see, no white line. The white lines, which you always want to avoid. No white line. So that looks good. Okay. Let's go look. That, that definitely stretched the witch call out. <laughs> okay. I can't do no more of socks, but we're going to see. And it's the same thing with it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the socks. Because it can't be the heat press. But the aluminum foil made it made it look even uh, more vibrant, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know. What's up with it? What's that? Yeah, I think it's the elastic, the elastic and the sock. Because look at this little stuff right here. What the hell is that? Yeah, that gotta be from the side. So I guess. Yeah, that gotta be, that's from the side. That's a sock issue. Well, don't buy the socks from the poppy store. Unless you're not gonna do the, uh, the brim of it. But it came out looking good, though. For the most part. That line is not there, so the aluminum for you is uh, definitely a good way to go. Just the, uh, so go ahead and get some celebration socks or some other socks. Just not these socks from the poppy store. These choices. <laughs> Never going to be the same again. Never going to be the same again. Okay. Well, guys. Thank you. See you on the next one I hope that you subscribe Hit the bell for the next one